Razer Siren mic lineup has been a popular one and they've recently added to the family with the Siren V2X, which we'll be taking an in-depth look at in today's video to help you guys decide if it's gonna be worth that price and gonna be right for you. In the box, besides getting the microphone itself, you get your base for the microphone, that little stem that goes between the mic and the base, then a USB-C to USB-A cable, and finally, just an instruction pamphlet. The V2X has a very similar look to the Siren Mini, but the same plastic housing and metal grating on top that make up that construction of the microphone itself, but there are some very nice to see differences and I would say big upgrades when getting the Siren V2X. You get a mic, mute, and unmute button, which either has a red or green light to signify its status, along with a tactile response to the button itself. Right below that though, you have a gain knob to control your mic volume. Then on the back, you have a headphone jack for mic monitoring, along with no more micro USB, so you're finally getting that upgrade to USB-C on the V2X, so that's great to see as well. The included USB-C cable has that specific shape that really makes it fit and line up with the actual body of the V2X microphone and hold firmly in place, but you don't have to use that cable. You can still have the option of using other ones with it. The base that the V2X is sitting on it is exactly the same as used with the Siren Mini as far as I can tell, at least with it being an all plastic construction there with the base having that same sort of rubbery foam on the bottom, which definitely does provide some grip along with that same ball joint that allows you that limited amount of movement with the microphone once it is attached to that stand. And if you want to put it up in a boom arm, of course, you do have the option available and I would recommend that in general if you do wanna be using this microphone with it either having that 3 8 of an inch or without that stem being on there, you have that 5 8 of an inch opening, allowing it to be pretty much compatible with any boom arm. That's enough about the mic though, let's go ahead and hear how it sounds. All right, we're over in the office now and I have the Siren V2X set up on my desk. I wanna state that before we hop into this, I'm not altering my voice in any way before or after the fact when I'm editing. This is exactly what you're hearing right now. It's going straight into the microphone, recording straight into OBS. I do have my gain turned up a little in OBS so you guys can actually hear me and also that I'm not peaking or being too quiet. But besides that, nothing is changed. So do realize that what you're hearing here is what you're going to get when you pull the microphone right out of the box. For the pickup pattern on the Siren V2X, it's going to be the same thing that we saw with the Siren Mini and then first with the Siren X, the first one, of course, not this one. But you can see this demonstrated more clearly as I spin it around. But the super cardioid pattern, what it's trying to do is eliminate noises more from the sides and the back so you can see as I turn the microphone away from myself and then back towards the front here my voice will get a little bit louder and a little bit more clear because that's where it's actually picking up the most of the audio and trying to suppress those background noises that we don't want to hear in general in the first place from things like a keyboard or if there's a fan going or maybe people talking that's going to help eliminate those things if you do have it sitting on your desk, it's gonna be best to have it with the ball joint pushed all the way to the back here. That's gonna help it actually get into the cardioid pickup pattern in the first place to actually pick up your voice. And after all, I would not recommend this using it on your desk. If you can, get a boom arm. You can get one for like $20, $25. I have some reviews, I'll leave them down below if you guys wanna check them out. It's really gonna greatly improve your audio quality. It's gonna get your microphone not only just up and off of your desk, trying to eliminate or at least reduce some of those vibrations that you might be getting with it on your desk, but it's also gonna get it really nice and close to your mouth and give you the clearest sound that you can get. If you are gonna be using the V2X on your desk though, it does fortunately come with the built-in shock absorber, same as we saw with the Siren Mini, and it works really great, honestly. You guys can test it for yourselves here. I'm gonna be moving around the desk while I'm speaking, which normally with some mics that don't have great built-in shock mounts, this would make a lot of noise. Like a microphone like the SoloCast from HyperX, which I tested before, all these vibrations were so plainly evident, but the Siren, the Siren V2X or the Siren series in general has done a great job of reducing those vibrations, which you guys can listen back to right now as I'm bumping and shaking around the desk. Next test we're going to do though is another spot where you'll pick up a lot of vibrations and also just chatter is going to be from the keyboard. So I'm going to start typing on it now and you guys can hear I'll keep talking as I'm typing here. And this is another spot where with some microphones that don't have great built-in shock absorbers, when you're bottoming out on those keys, sending that vibration through the desk and a microphone would be picking up a lot of that sound. So this will give you guys a good idea if you're gonna be streaming with it or maybe recording videos where you have a keyboard in the background. This is how it's gonna sound and I would definitely recommend if you are gonna be doing a keyboard really close to the microphone, at least put the microphone in front of it because again, the pickup pattern or the cardioid pickup pattern is gonna be in the front of the microphone. So don't set it behind it. It's gonna pick up more of the keyboard chatter. But overall, this is about how you'd expect it to sound. I think overall, Razer has done a really good job with their shock mounts. Really limits a lot of vibrations listening back to some recordings I already did, I think it does a really great job. Okay, now we have the V2X up in a boom arm and right away, you will notice my voice is gonna be 
quite a bit louder. I did turn the gain down a little bit in OBS, so I'm not constantly peaking. But of course, again, this is what I recommend if you're gonna do it. It's gonna get it out of the way on your desk so you have more freedom with your hands and you're not bumping the microphone around. And also, you're not picking up as much vibration. So it gets it a little bit further away from your keyboard as far as being on the desk and up closer to your mouth, giving you just a clear, and in my opinion, I think it's usually just superior in every way if you can get it in the boom arm. Because not only then you're moving around, you have the option of bringing it to you wherever you're at. It's not just a fixed location and not so far away from your mouth because the the stature of these siren mics are just pretty small so they sit down pretty far but this gives you a good idea of what it will sound like if it is in a boom arm and again of course make sure you have it facing towards you with that razor logo towards your face because that's where that pickup pattern is going to be getting the most of your voice and again link down below i'll have some boom arm options along with this one that i've really been enjoying if you guys want to check out some good options for the v2x you can find the Zion v2x on amazon normally for a hundred dollars but as the making this video it's actually on sale for $80. So I'll have it linked in the description down below if you guys wanna check out if that deal is still going on. And I think it's a really solid microphone for that price specifically as well. And one I think that can definitely work for streaming and content creation, that's what you're wanting to do with it. I think it definitely makes some really big improvements over its cheaper counterpart in the Siren Mini here, making it worth that price bump overall with things like that mic mute, or unmute button, gain knob, also that monitoring. I think those are all really big upgrades. And I'll soon be doing also a review of the Siren V2 Pro mic and seeing how the whole lineup of Siren mics compares to each other. So make sure you subscribe and stay tuned for that video as well. If you wanna check out some other microphone reviews, look at the ones on screen now though.